Uh, Virgil, actually to date, it hasn't had any material effect, I don't think. Uh, of course, in some of the lowlands, uh, where the wheat, uh, uh, of course, yields uh, a lot heavier than it does on the uplands, uh, it's wiped out there. I'm sure where the overflow of the Washita. But uh, as far as any material effect on the total uh, yield over the state, I don't think there's going to be any particular damage if it doesn't keep raining. We have a 15-day weather outlook from the uh, Weather Bureau, which predicts above normal rainfall and below normal temperatures for the state. <laughs> now, what will this do to our wheat crop? Well, of course, if that is true, if the prediction is fulfilled, it's, uh, it's going to hamper harvests in one way, and, of course, that below normal temperature will uh, delay maturing of the wheat in the uh, northern sections, the northern extremities of the wheat section. Uh, I certainly hope that, uh, that the man's wrong there. Jack, what kind of a total wheat harvest can we expect for Oklahoma this year? Well, hello, Virgil. Of course, uh, I'm uh, not an expert on, uh, on wheat, uh, but all the experts are telling us that there's going to be about an 80 million bushel crop this year. Uh, of course, that's in sharp contrast to the bumper crop of over 115 million bushels that we had last year. I'll say this, it's definitely going to be short of, uh, of last year's crop. Uh, it's my guess that it's going to be somewhere between 70 and 75 million bushels. What is the average uh, yearly yield for wheat here in the state, Jack? Uh, Virgil, I believe that they say that the average is around 66 million bushels in the state. So we're at least going to be above our average? Uh, I think we'll be a little average. above average, yes. What effect will this granting of a writ of prohibition have on whiskey enforcement here in Oklahoma? Well, as to the enforcement, that would be the future enforcement. That would be another question. As to all of these pending cases, uh, definitely I don't believe any of them can be tried until the Criminal Court of Appeals makes a final ruling upon my writ on June 17th. I don't believe there'll be any cases uh, tried at all, and in this county, probably none until September now, because we do not have a, July, a jury in July and August.
we will plan to continue following all whiskey cases are brought over here to us from the city police department and the sheriff's office what about the cases that are already on the trial about we have some fourteen cases on our common police trial docket set for this month of june uh... i would believe the best procedure at this time would be to strike those cases pending the outcome of this test uh, case out there before the court today. Uh, I was asked to pick someone to prosecute the case when the local county attorney disqualified himself and would not do it. I found Hez Bussey, who is county attorney of Cleveland County, that agreed to do this. However, Hez is not going to be allowed to serve now because the defendant's lawyer and his fellow Caddo County lawyers that were each given a chance to act as prosecutor and declined to do so because they object to Hez, the man that I picked, and they insist that the prosecutor be named on their recommendation. No, I always thought that one of the rights you had in America when you came to court was to have the man of your choice present your case or to be allowed to present it yourself. But as I found out that the secrecy of the purity of the ballot wasn't what it should be, I find out now that you're not entitled to do that either. Edward K. Gaylord distinguished himself by exceptionally meritorious service to the United States Air Force from October 1940 to February 1959 as a civic leader of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and president of the Oklahoma Publishing Company. During this period, Mr. Gaylord's leadership in civic affairs and his personal contributions materially enhanced the mission of the Air Force. The product of these efforts is reflected in the vast Tinker Air Force Base Complex, site of headquarters Oklahoma City Air Material Area, Will Rogers Field, and future major aviation projects planned for the Oklahoma City area. Mr. Gaylord's patriotic endeavors have materially improved the military-civilian relations throughout the area, 
and the acceptance of the Air Force personnel into the community. The singularly distinctive accomplishments of Mr. Gaylord reflect great credit upon himself and his state and have earned for him the sincere gratitude of the United States Air Force.